Well, let's listen to what David Davis had to say about this, because he's the man that's been put in the centre of this storm. He's the one that has been ardently pro-Brexit for decades, and yet he's the one that's having to stand there on a stage and make what appear to be concessions. Take a listen to what he said yesterday. When it comes to foreign policy and defence collaboration, we have set out a plan for an ambitious partnership, one that goes beyond the relationship the European Union has with any other third country. And I know this desire is shared by our European Union partners. The deal we've reached today envisages us moving to that partnership at the soonest possible moment. Yeah, but the soonest possible moment they're going to move to that partnership, which means the transition deal is 21 months, something the European side wanted, the British did not. The British wanted at least two years, and they wanted themselves to have control over how long that is. So that's another example where the UK's had to make a bit of a climb down. If we look at EU rights for citizens, we were told by the British government they would not allow European citizens to have the rights to move and settle in the UK during that transition period. They have ended up with those rights under this deal yesterday. Uh, if you also look at um, fisheries, the British government essentially saying we're going to accept European control over this, something they for years now, Brexiteers have said, would not happen. So a lot of reasons why Theresa May and her government are facing criticism from those on both sides, essentially. You've got the Big Remainers. Trade, wasn't there? And, 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 there so, was a win on trade, wasn't there? And this is why the pound responded. This, this is the really positive piece of news for the British side, is that they've been told that they can go out and sign but not ratify external trade deals. So they've got this 21 months, the fastest agreement we've seen in history, US, Australia, two years. So 21 months is very ambitious, according to a lot of analysts we've been looking at. I think Theresa May is hoping for this. I agree, but, but can't the Brits just kind of dare I say it, photocopy what's already there with the EU and just take out the British bits and say, look, this is what we've got with you already, Canada, Australia, whoever it may well be. How about it? Every conversation I've had about that, yeah. people have said it's just never that easy. Why not? Because you have to make exceptions for the fact that the European side will then react long term to the deals you're making with them in terms of how goods are moved through. And until the Irish border is resolved, oh, I see. the French in particular are not going to allow any of these deals to get ratified. Oh, Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.